Hello and welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name is Michael and I want to show you in this video how you can paint your Orc vehicles. There's a huge variety when it comes to Orc vehicles and you can even customise and create your own. And this is what I've been doing for my own Orc army. I've taken the standard truck and customised it so I have more variety and I've even used the Space Marine Rhino. For example, for this truck I just strained up the chassis because I wanted a truck with just four wheels and added a few extra bits and stuck things where they're not meant to go and this is what I ended up with. If you're a bit more adventurous you can even use some plastic card and customise your vehicles even more like this Rhino. But no matter what you're painting you can follow the same steps that I'm going to show you and get some fantastic looking vehicles for your Orc army. When it comes to undercoating the model I like to think about how the majority of the model is going to be painted. Here's a truck I know I'm mostly going to be painting metals, so I undercoated it first with lead voucher spray. But for a vehicle like this, which I know I'm mainly going to be painting non-metallic colours, I would choose an appropriate undercoat like a bad and black for a goth clan's colour scheme for example. But no matter what you start with, I always like to get the metals painted first, leaving the more fun details for after. And whenever I'm painting something, I always like to thin my paints first, and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. Keep your brush moving and try not to go over any areas you've already painted. It's also better to paint the multiple thin layers to prevent losing any details on your model. So let the layer dry and then repeat the process until you've got a nice solid colour you're happy with. It can be daunting to start painting a larger model, so I'm just going to start with a nice simple wash of Norn Oil over the lead voucher. Not only will it start giving the model some definition, it just helps me get past that initial worry of starting to put some paint on the model. Make sure to always give your shades a good shape before using them. And then wash the areas you've painted lead voucher. When you use a lot of wash like this, it's going to start pulling in details of the model. So if you see that happening, just take a smaller brush and soak up the excess wash you don't want and then let it dry. I now want to give the metals some interest and I do this by picking out panels, pipes and other details and a variety of different metallic colours to mix it up. You can choose whatever colours you think work best for your colour scheme. I'm now going to mix some Agrax Earth Shade with an equal amount of Lamy Medium. This is going to help weaken the strength of the wash to prevent it from dulling the colours you've already painted. You want to use this shade mix over all the metal details, again removing any excess wash you don't want. This is going to help bring all the metals together while giving them a grimy, oily look as well. And then let that fully dry. After the wash has dried I like to pick out some of the metals again before moving on to doing a dry brush with Stormhose Silver. And when dry brushing I find it's a lot better to get rid of as much paint on the brush as you can so it's more likely to only pick out the edges and raise detail on the vehicle. You will tend to see a lot of shared details on your vehicles, like tyres and wraps, so let me quickly show you how you can get them painted next. Starting with any wraps, I'll base coat them using Corax White, I then give them a wash of Skeleton Hawk Contrast, and finish up with a highlight of Screaming Skull. For the tyres, I'll base coat them with a bad and black first. I then like to paint Doomball Brown into all the recesses, which will give the look of dirt and mud, and then finish the tyres with the highlight of Dawnstone. With all the details finished, it's time to have some fun and start looking at how you can paint your orc vehicles to look like they're part of one of the orc clans. I'm going to use my truck first of all as an example for the process I'll go through when painting any of the clan colours. So even though I'm painting black for the goth clan colours, the stages of shading and highlighting are still the same. I will then go through some of the colour recipes that could be used for the other clan colours. So once you've decided on the colour you want to paint, start with the base colour first, remembering to paint multiple thin layers to get a nicer finish. You then want to add some definition to the colour using a recessed shade. Do this by applying the shade directly into any panel lines and around any details and rivets. I'm using Rhinox Hide here in place of a shade for a black base colour. 
and then after the recess shade is dried, you're going to give your chosen colour two levels of highlighting, starting with a chunky highlight. To do this, you want to paint a thicker line around the edges of the details. I like to use the side of my brush for this technique, rather than the tip, and you want to try and paint that line in one continuous motion, rather than stopping and starting. This helps create that nice smooth straight line you'll often see on the heavy metal miniatures. Finally, you paint an edge highlight. This is going to be thinner than your chunky highlight because we want to see both as they work together to bring out all the edges and details. So now you know the process of how to paint the colours, let's have a look at which colours you can use. For the Goths clan, they mainly use black with some red and white in places. Evil Sons are obviously red, but you can throw some yellow in there as well. The Death Skulls are going to be a mix of blues and whites. If you want to paint some snake bites, I really like these colours used on the Squig Wagon. And Bad Moons are going to be a mix of yellow and black. And I'd recommend painting Corex White first of all on the panels before painting the yellow to make it easier. Now that we've explored some of the colours for the clans, let me show you how you can paint some of the designs you may see starting with the famous checkered pattern. Start by marking out the design with a grid and then fill in every other square and then you can go in and neaten up the design until you're happy with it. If you want to paint some flame designs on your vehicles, start by painting some wiggly lines, spacing them evenly and making them different lengths. Then all you need to do is to thicken the lines out gradually towards the bottom and also have them join together at the base. Remember you can always neaten up the design if you need to. I'm now going to paint the trucks in my goth colour scheme and when I'm painting I'll paint the main colour first deciding on where I want to paint it. And if it's a large area of colour I'll sometimes swap out the chunky highlight with a dry brush before edge highlighting. Then I'll pick out all the areas I want different colours, making sure I'm happy with how they look with the main colour before I shade and highlight them. After I'm happy with all the colours, I'll paint the orc crew the same way I paint all the other orcs in my army, before moving on to adding any weathering and markings. You could stop at this point and call your vehicles finished, but I want to show you a few things that will help take them to the next level. You can start by creating some texture on the panels. Using your highlight colours, you can paint little scratches and marks on the panels and build this up until you're happy with it. You could do these steps when you're highlighting if you wanted to. If you have any designs, you can break them up by painting scratches in them with the base colour of the panel and breaking up some of those clean lines to give a more worn out look. You could add even more interest with some chips in the paintwork if you wanted to. I'm using Rhinox Hide and Ned Boucher here but you could use whatever colours you wanted. I'm just going around the model with the tip of my brush and painting little marks along edges where I want the chips to be. And something I personally love to do for my vehicles is to use some thinned down scrag brown and paint this into all the recesses and any detail and rivets to give the impression of rust. I've now finished my orc trucks and hopefully you can now use some of the things I've shown you in this video to go and paint your own vehicles. Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it and got something useful from it. If you did, please leave a like and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Subscribe for future tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.